Obviously, you got the, the first professional start last game out, the first professional win. Uh, just as you reflected on that the last couple of weeks, you know, what was the experience like, and how do you feel like that will serve you moving forward? Yeah, I was super grateful that we could get such a good team win in front of a record crowd. Um, I think it really brought the spirits back for us, and um, moving forward, it just gave us the spark that we needed to finish. And um, Yeah, I'm really happy with the way that we played and the way that we turned things around. It looks like Michelle will be out the last couple of games here, so it's, it's your job for now. Uh, you should look forward to two games against Gotham. Just what's what's the approach there? I mean, I don't think it changes. You know, it's sad for Michelle, but I think moving forward, uh, we prepare the same way that we did against uh, Orlando. Uh, we have two games against Gotham, and we want to get results. I think we enjoyed the fact that. You know, we were able to take the playoffs from them, and so I think we have another chance to do that against Gotham, and so I think we're looking forward to that. I think everybody has, like, a Carly Boyd story or just an opinion on her, but this could be her final away game in, in the NWSL. Uh, you know, just, just growing up, what did you think of, of her? Obviously, much different position, but I'm, I'm sure right. that... You know, I mean, I think everyone looks up to Carly Lloyd, her work ethic, and everything she's done for the national team and for her clubs, and so... Uh, for us, it's pretty neat to see her in her last two games, and um, it's an honor to you know share the same field as her. And so uh, it'll be great, and it'll be fun. Yeah, sure. Um, so it's been a long season. It's coming close to wrapping up. Lots of highs and lows. Do you feel that racing has established a good foundation to build on for the future? Uh, most definitely. I know, I know that. Our club from the day one has never like made the excuse of, oh, we're an expansion team, and we never use that as an excuse. And so I think um, this year has only you know, made us more hungry for the years to come. And I think we've established the fan base. It's only going to get better for the players. Um, we're looking forward to a new head coach. And so I think we can only go up from here. You mentioned the attendance in the last game. I think this next game will be around 8,000. You know, the results maybe haven't gone the way you wanted down the stretch, but to see the crowd grow and we kind of finding out about racing, you know, what's just the, the team conversations been like right now? Yeah, I think it's exciting to have the fan base. Um, it surely motivates us every night that we go out there. And so, um, you know, as the season has gone by, it's been a long season, but with their help, I think it's motivated us to, you know, finish on a strong note. And so Thursday will be really fun uh, to share in our last game with the fans. Just one more. Uh, Obviously, we were mentioning that, that Michelle would be out and that you're in for these last couple games. How do you feel like you're a different goalkeeper, obviously at different points in your all's respective careers? Uh, what, what do you feel like you maybe bring that's just different? Uh, yeah, so for me, you know, I've this is only my second year in the league. Last year, I didn't really get any opportunities with COVID. Um, but I think I can bring a strong kicking game. Uh, that's different than most. I enjoy playing with my feet, and so I feel like I can be an added field player. Um, I think as I continue to play more minutes, I get more comfortable, especially you know in my position, but with the team. And so I'm just looking for more opportunities going forward, and I'm excited.